Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and The Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and The Restless spoilers indicate that Phyllis Summers will assist her family. This time, Daniel Romilotti needs to be saved. The fantastic standalone episode, commemorating Stafford's 30 years with the ensemble, reminded longtime fans of a vital fact. When she made her debut, this actress soared to the top ranks of daytime's best actresses and has never left that elite group. Sharon Newman, Phyllis' mortal nemesis, appears to have committed murder, making for a highly fascinating tale. Sharon has framed Daniel for Heather Stevens' murder, and Phyllis has only recently recognized that she is the most likely framer. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Sharon Newman in the Spotlight Like Stafford, Case made his debut in 1994. Joshua Morrow did as well. Their three personalities became the next generation of stars in Geno City, Wisconsin. Since then, the public has commended the efforts of the performers portraying them. Sharon began falling months ago, when she consciously stopped taking her medication. Her family was unaware of this until she recently acknowledged to doing so. She is presently attempting to persuade Nick, Faith Noonan, and Mariah Copeland that she has stabilized her life. Fans understand Sharon is doing so to draw attention away from her apparent homicidal deeds. Why and R spoilers? Who killed Heather Stevens? This subject header remains a valid question. While it's tempting to believe Sharon did it, the evidence presented suggests otherwise. And, yeah, it is a wink at Case's last name. Sharon cannot be Heather's murderer unless Case departs the show soon or decides to become a recurrent character. So who is? Chance Chancellor's notion about Heather having another love interest may be right, with changes for the time of fame. After leaving Daniel, she had another guy in her life while she and Lucy Romilotti were living in Portugal. That invisible individual would be an obvious choice as the person who murdered Heather and used Sharon's frazzled state to frame her. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Phyllis Summers will make it happen. A scenario in which Phyllis puts pressure on Sharon and she eventually snaps appears more likely than not. Phyllis understands that Daniel could be sentenced to prison unjustly. Therefore, she will work tirelessly to protect him. Sharon may appear guilty, as Daniel does. But it also appears that Sharon, like Daniel, will be absolved of Heather's murder. Sharon appears to have planted evidence at Daniel's apartment and dumped Heather's body. Assuming she committed the crimes, she must face punishment. However, given Sharon's mental state at the time, this outcome may allow her to spend little to no time in prison. The young and the restless spoilers and updates promise that there will always be surprises in Geno City. As viewers are aware, Christine Blair and Phyllis Summers' Emity has lasted three decades and shows no signs of fading. Will a similar objective bring them together? The young and the restless spoilers. Recent reminders. Fans were reminded of this during Phyllis' 30th anniversary special, which aired on Friday, October 18. They appear to be willing to set aside their disagreements long enough to help Daniel Romilotti with his current situation. Not only has he lost the love of his life, but Sharon Newman is going out of her way to blame him for Heather Stevens' death. Although Sharon was unconscious throughout Heather's terrible death, it is unclear whether she was directly responsible. However, one thing is certain. She is convinced she is guilty and has pushed countless boundaries in the process. Why and R spoilers? Phyllis Summers suspects Sharon Newman is to blame. Sharon has not only managed to conceal her role in cleaning up the crime scene and disposing of Heather's body, but she is now framing Daniel. It's part of her vengeance for Cassie Newman's death all those years ago, and Phyllis assumes Sharon is behind the plot and is desperate to clear Daniel. Danny Romilotti intends to communicate with his kid via video conference from October 21 to 25. Then, on Thursday, October 24, Christine will return to GC, where Danny would undoubtedly persuade her to help his son. With countless concerts ahead, 
He can't afford to disappoint his fans. So Christine will rush back to stand by Daniel in Danny's absence and serve as his legal agent. The young and the restless spoilers. There's bad blood between them, but they love Daniel Romilotti. Despite their disagreements, Phyllis and Christine share a firm confidence in Daniel's innocence. Their love for him is unshakable, and they will go to any extent to guarantee his release. Phyllis may use devious techniques, whereas Christine scrupulously follows the law. But both are desperate to clear Daniel's name. Could they possibly work together? Despite their frequent disagreements, Phyllis sees Christine as the best counsel Daniel could have. Christine, on the other hand, appreciates Phyllis' powerful protective instincts and great love for her children, even if she dislikes her. Phyllis may discuss her suspicions about Sharon with Christine, potentially giving the lawyer a strategic advantage when Daniel's case goes to trial. According to spoilers from The Young and The Restless, Heather Stevens has died. The audience is being persuaded to assume Sharon Newman did it, as Phyllis Summers has began to suspect. Chance Chancellor and the other cops assigned to the homicide investigation continue to uncover incriminating evidence. That information implicates Daniel Romilotti. However, Chance's new hunch that Heather has another love interest opens the daylight door. While the recently recovered detective in Geno City, Wisconsin, has no suspicions, Heather's ex-boyfriend from the law firm she worked for in Portugal appears to be the likely culprit of one or two frames. The young and the restless spoilers for Sharon Newman confronted Heather Stevens. Sharon lives in a fantasy world. It's still unclear if she's on the right drug or if the therapy she's receiving is effective. Case's renowned character believes Heather died by accident in the apartment where Daniel and Lucy Romilotti live. Heather attempted to call the police, and Sharon tried to seize her smartphone. Heather stumbled backward, hitting her head on shards of broken glass that had shattered earlier due to Sharon's frenetic behavior. Sharon was also knocked out during that time since she appeared to fall backward and strike her head. Hi, and our spoilers. What happened in the apartment? Assuming an unknown third person was there in the residence, Sharon is likely innocent of many of the offenses she claims she committed. If Heather's ex-boyfriend was in G.C., he might have been in the flat confronting her, which occurred during the tumultuous event shown in fragments. According to the above, that man could have been watching Heather and Daniel for weeks. He stumbled into the confrontation between Heather and Sharon and took advantage of it. Viewers will need to be offered an explanation for the gap in time between when both ladies were unconscious and Sharon put Heather's body in the river or appeared to do so. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Daniel Romilotti will be cleared. Daniel didn't kill Heather. He is aware of this, as are the viewers. However, there looks to be plenty of story space from the present day until further proof is disclosed. Sharon feels she is framing Daniel as part of a retribution plan. Lyndon Ashby's homecoming has gone smoothly. However, this plot is nearing its end and will need to be wrapped up soon. Halloween serves as an appropriate calendar point for a climax. Sharon most likely did not act on all of her beliefs, and Daniel was not guilty unless there was a surprise twist. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe for more information. I'll see you guys next time.